Hello and welcome to the Specialist Education Support Service video channel. I am a specialist teacher working with children with a range of complex learning needs. During this video, we will look at ways to use threading activities to develop your child's ability to use their hands and fingers. Often referred to as fine motor skills, the better they get at using their hands and fingers, the more they will be able to do for themselves. Such as playing with their favorite toy, dressing, writing, eating, or cooking. Children with special educational needs and disabilities need lots and lots of practice to develop their fine motor skills and will quickly get bored if given the same activity to do every day. Therefore, we will look at both toys you can buy and things you can make to keep your child interested and engaged. There are three important things to consider when deciding where to start and what to use. These are your child's current threading and fine motor abilities, If we make the activity too hard, they'll be put off before we start. The type of resources and toys your child likes to look at and play with. Because you want the resources you use to capture your child's attention. And finally, safety. All children explore the world by putting things in their mouth. And children with special educational needs and disabilities will often continue to do this for a long time. It is therefore very important that you sit with your child whilst they are playing so they do not choke on any of the resources. Let's have a look at some different threading activities. Starting with the easiest and gradually getting more difficult. Start by using a static pole over which resources can be placed. Make sure the pole you have chosen has a flat, wide base so it does not move whilst your child is trying to thread on the pieces. Here are two examples of toys you can buy. One wooden and one plastic with large, easy to hold rings. The next example is a kitchen roll holder onto which your child could thread bangles or hairbands. Next, we have some threading activities using wooden spoons. This activity is harder than the static pole because your child has to hold both the wooden spoon and the item they need to thread onto the spoon. The bowl part of the spoon stops the items falling off and provides your child with a large surface to hold. The spoons pictured are craft spoons, so have short handles and a shallow bowl. You could just as easily buy some cheap wooden spoons from the pound shop and cut down the handle. Firm items are easier to thread than floppy items, such as the hair bobbles. Threading items onto a chopstick would be an alternative to using a spoon. Add several layers of sticky tape to the wide end of the chopstick to prevent the things from falling off. Once your child can confidently thread items onto spoon handles or chopsticks, you could move on to using short lengths of plastic clothesline, which is stiffer than a lace. Alternatively, 
you could thread onto jumbo pipe cleaners often found in the craft section of pound shops. A stepping stone towards threading onto a lace could be to thread onto a specially made lace with a wooden end. Or you could add a few layers of sticky tape along the end of a shoelace to make it easier to insert into the holes of the items to be threaded. Threading resources. The items you want your child to thread need to be easy for them to hold and initially have a large hole. There are many things on the market but you could also make things yourself. Perhaps paint some kitchen roll medals and cut into short lengths. Or you could cut up a pool noodle. Buy some squares of felt from the craft shop and cut into small colourful squares. Look for some cheap costume jewellery with large bees that you could use for threading. Think about what would motivate your child. Varying the resources is more likely to keep them interested. Lastly, some things to remember. Developing fine motor skills will help your child to do things for themselves. Stay safe by supervising your child as they play. Keep them interested by making your own resources. And most importantly, have fun.